Last new park of the trip. It is Dorney Park today. And I'm uh, excited to get on Steel Force, which is somewhere back there. I don't know where it is, but yeah, I'm expecting a ride very similar to Mamba out of Steel Force. And uh, yeah, it's one of my most anticipated rides to be honest. We've got Talon going over there, which so I've heard that's an uh, underrated number so I'm going to cruise the train on myself. But I'll see how weird Hydra the Revenge is. So we're not going to be here all day because we got to get on the road. And plus, I might be going back to Kennywood, which I think I am actually, for uh, part of a day tomorrow, which is after I'm recording this because of the rain delay. Which is on my Kennywood vlog from uh, about a week ago, which I'll post a link to that description of this video so you guys can pick it up if you haven't seen it yet. Basically, a brief rundown is that I just pretty much got rained out. The park closed an hour and a half earlier than intended. So I got a rain check, which allowed me to come back for this. I'll be coming back for I think a few hours. I think the next day after this, so that's why I'm not gonna be here at all day tomorrow. Also, I'm like an hour late, so we're gonna I think 11, 15, I think around six tonight. So it's not a ton of time, but yeah, let's go and see how this park is. excited a few minutes ago until I saw the layout and it looks very similar to Patriot at Worlds of Fun and I was not a huge fan of Patriot. It was one of the weak fan I've ever done. And this layout looks to be very similar to that. So not overly excited for this one. Oh my god! The audio on that file glitched out, so here are my thoughts on Talon. It's a lower tier invert based on the ones I've written. I did it twice, once in the front row, once in the back, and I wasn't too impressed with it. I thought it was a little better than Patriot, mainly because it had that low to the ground turn, but other than that, Talon wasn't anything too special. <laughs> Did hydro twice, once in the front, once in the back, and that is also a mid-tier ride right there. And it didn't really do anything besides, uh, I don't know, it's kind of boring, I guess. The Jojo roll was good though. That was uh, better than I think any other one on Talon. Well, actually, I don't know about that. The Lord of the Grounds on Talon is actually pretty good. But yeah, as for best seat, I don't have much of a purpose for this. I don't know if I like front or back better on this, or even Talon for that matter, so yeah. These rides are kind of forgettable for me. But now let's go ride a ride that I'm pretty sure is not going to be forgettable for me, and that is Steel Force. So, yeah, let's go see how that one is. Steel Force now, and this ride better be really good because I'm expecting something similar to Mamba. Now, I did see that the main course was uh, slowing the train down a decent amount, but 
hopefully that doesn't run the ride but if anything i'll uh, be able to enjoy the speed that the ride still has so i can definitely see this being my favorite ride and uh Dorney park so yeah. let's go see how this one is hopefully it's as good as i'm hoping it to be otherwise uh yeah i'm probably walking disappointed by the gas but who knows i'll judge it once i actually ride so let's go just rode steel force and does it compare to mamba it does in the first half the second half please turn off that mid-course brake run it doesn't need it the second half was a uh, floater on the last few bunny hills. Whereas on Mamba, it was supposed to do ejector. But the first half, uh, I thought it actually kind of rivaled Mamba's first half steel force. So it was actually might have been a little bit better, although I don't know. I grayed out on the far helix on this one, much like I did on Mamba. But yeah, I was really impressed with this right steel. It doesn't beat Mamba though, that's for sure. It's like not exactly close to it, but I say definitely top right here so far. <laughs> Second ride on Steel Force was excellent, and now I'm gonna take my first and possibly only ride on Possessed. I am not sure if this will be around next time I go to Dorney Park, which it might not be because there have been rumors that they're getting a move for quite some time now. I said that they're gonna get that rumored uh, wooden shuttle coaster in its place. Yeah, this might be my only shot of riding it, so let's see how this is. Just got on possessed and it was actually a zen ride which is funny because the last time i rode an instrument impulse which is wicked supposed to be cedar point may rest in peace by the way i got a zen ride on that one it was in the pouring rain wicked twister well this is uh not but still that was a awesome ride a definitely number two ride in the park for me that was a intense a uh, little bit of a vibration to it like more so than hydra but i think that might have to do with the fact that i was the only one on the dang train so i don't know i don't know those kids but another one just launched and uh, I'm gonna go ride Thunderhawk in just a minute here at, uh, yeah, Tempe Tempesto. I just call it Tempesto. Zane of Skyrocket City, what idiot. Possess, uh, yeah, it's corner anyway. There we go. Yeah, I definitely want to get another round of this, but we are looking at some weather coming in, so that may uh, stop us. But yeah, it's unfortunately I've had to deal with uh, weather causing some havoc quite a bit this trip. Because uh, Kennywood, uh, first time I Kennywood, I used to say, part of Prince Park and then also Knobles, where uh, Six Flags Great Adventure didn't really have that. So it would be nice to. Uh, I guess not have any weather today, but it's not gonna happen with like so. Yeah, that's I'd say really solid.
gonna ride Thunderhawk now, and uh, I think this is its 100th year of operation. And I'm a little nervous this one's gonna be rough, but I think I've heard that Dorian Park has been doing some uh, track work on it in recent years, if I remember correctly. So let's see how it is. Now, loose articles and handheld items, including cell phones, are not permitted. We're right here at Doherty Park. Welcome back, riders. How was that ride? Once your train has come to a full complete stop, ambassador. Yeah, Where's the on Thunderhawk and I was expecting a lot worse from it. It was uh, decently smooth for a uh, 100 year old coaster which I appreciated but it didn't really do anything because I actually stapled myself like I don't know how I always end up stapled with these two platforms in the safe zone. Like, I always think they cannot go down an extra click and then when I try to see if they avoid or not I accidentally staple myself so yeah that's unfortunate. Although there were several trim brakes located the other way they killed any or something so that's unfortunate. And uh, all the major coasters are closed now because of the weather which good thing I rode Thunderhawk when I did. But I think Woodstock Express is still open, so I'm gonna get on this one. Since I'm here and I don't have that credit yet. Don't have to worry about Woodstock Express anymore. That was just another kid coaster and nothing really too exciting about it. I will say it was a uh, decently intense. Uh, the drop was good in the back because uh, yeah, that's why I wrote obviously. But well, the night wasn't anything special. Now let's get the last credit I need here, which is uh, Wild Mouse. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's one of those uh, Mauer ones. I don't think I've ever done these ones before, so this should be an interesting one. But yeah, let's give it a shot. See how it is. And I saw that. Uh, yeah, there's a said that uh, I'll give you the announcement they're testing it. I saw Seal Force also going, so we'll let the rain might have missed us for now, which is good.
crack open now. Let's get on this one, and uh, I think that'll be uh, coaster completion for Doherty Park. Unless it's something else I'm not thinking of, which I don't believe there is. Because I did the top three here with Hydra, Talon, and Steel Force, Possessed, uh, Thunderhawk, Wild Mass, and Woodstock. And I don't know if there's anything else, but then again, I'll have to double check that. But I don't believe there is. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this might be the last credit I need here. Park coaster completion and uh, yikes! That weather back behind Hydra does not look good at all. I feel like it's coming towards us, so I wouldn't be surprised if come the next few minutes the rides close down. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over and get some shots of Hydra if possible running with this uh, weather we have. But yeah, I don't think anything is open right now. Honestly, I mean, Mad Mouse, I wouldn't be surprised to close or Wild Mouse, sorry, I wouldn't be surprised to close that down any second as well. I saw a talent cycle a couple times, but no one was on it. So, yeah, I'm not sure anything is open right now. Weather shut the rise down again, so I'm chilling out. This is this okay. These guys want to say hi. Yo, Jack, what's good? Yeah. Yo, what's good, bro? We're at Doherty Park, man. Having a good time. Have a good time you? meeting my boy Jack here. Uh, everyone, subscribe, like this video, and comment your favorite food. All right? I'm a big fan of Jack. Hello. Please, please don't get too close. I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said that's a little too close. Hey, sorry. Hey, hit that thumbs up. Hit yes. That thumbs up. Yes. yes. Do you guys have a favorite ride here? Uh, steel Force. Steel, steel Force. Steel Force. Uh, yeah, I would say Steel Force. Yep, that's mine too. Steel that's Force. Exactly. Hey, Steel, steel Force. Force. Good. Yep. Hey, make sure you comment down below your favorite ride at Dorney Park. Yes, yeah, you guys are. Comment below what your favorite ride is here at this park. Yeah. All right. Thank All right. you. Are you, are you, are you a Steel Force fan or are you guys like Talon or Hydra? Let us know. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yep. I'm a Talon guy. I'm a talent. I'm a Hydra guy. We're about, to, we're about to go hit talent, actually. I think all the rides are close. Yeah, all the rides are close. But yeah, you never know. They're coming to reopening any second now, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't get too close. Oh, I don't like oh, oh, oh. I. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's anyway. fine. Yeah. Right, well, see ya. See ya. Yep. It was awesome meeting you guys. After about a two hour weather delay, we are finally back in operation. And I don't have too much time at this park. I think I need some more footage of some of these rides. Especially the BMs like Talon and Hydra. So. Let's head over that direction to get some more shots of both of those. And also some more footage of a uh, Thunderhawk as well, but I'll come back to that once I write Steel Force again, which will be uh, in a little bit here, because I already wrote it twice today, and uh, I need some more footage, so let's go do that.
out at 6 o'clock and it's about 5.20 right now. So as much as I would like to ride Possessed again, I just can't do it. There's just not enough time because I want to go ride Steel Force again and then get some more shots of Thunderhawk because I know there are more vantage points to shoot of that than uh, Possessed over here. So that's why I'm prioritizing those two. Plus Steel Force is the best right here. I want to get one more ride on that at least. So let's head back that direction. Steel Force for the third and I think final time of the trip. I miss Mamba after riding that, honestly. Because the mid course on Mamba being turned off really helps that ride be better than it actually will be otherwise. And I think Mamba without the mid course turned off would be Steel Force. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely would take Mamba over Steel Force, but I think Steel Force is still an excellent ride for what it is. Despite not having enough time here to do as much as I would like to here at Joining Park, I thought it was cool to get to this nice little Cedar Fair Park for the first time. Final ride count from today was three on Steel Force and Woodstock Express, and uh, if you've seen my channel for a while, then you know that every time a kiddie coaster goes around a separate time, and it's uh, more than once, I guess I say, I, did, I count it as more than one ride. So that's why I managed three on Woodstock Express, but I did also get two on Hydra and Talon, as well as one on Possessed, Thunderhawk, and Wild Mouse. So it was overall a nice little park and I would love to spend more time here in the future, but the thing is, who knows when the heck I'm going to get back to the park. Probably if they get that wooden shuttle coaster or maybe even that rumored BNM dive coaster for whatever they're going to do next year. But I'm not coming back to Pennsylvania next year, I highly doubt that. But yeah, I'll have to settle with the rides I got. So I got some decent rides on Talon and Hydra, which I found both of them to be extremely extremely mid unfortunately but it was nice also get a zen ride i'm possessed to add that to my collection of zen rides and uh it was overall a really cool experience being here for the first time and of course before we click on this video please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video as well as your favorite ride here joining park like those other people said be sure to comment what your favorite ride here is at this park also be sure to share this video with someone else let me know if you're new to this channel like what you saw please consider subscribing for more content like this my goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the summer 
So I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you can notify every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram to help with the pictures I take whenever I visit the park. There's the video. I teased this uh, earlier in this vlog, but my next vlog is gonna be from Kennywood for a couple hours. So I might get to ride Steel Curtain, I might not, but it'd be cool to get back there and get some more rides on Phantom's Revenge. So stay tuned for that vlog. Until then, I will see you guys later.